Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you may have seen, I have recently posted a day in the life as a production assistant. So a lot of you are probably wondering, well, why am I doing one now on marketing and publicity? Well, I'm lucky enough to be working with LDN and as part of that, I have allocated time in my working week to be helping out other departments, doing additional research, etc. So since March this year, I have been helping the marketing and publicity teams across Bloomsbury. So this is adults, this is children's, this is special interest, education, etc. And it has been like such invaluable experience and some days are busier than others. So it might just be 10 minutes in the morning. Some days I will literally spend the whole day on marketing and publicity work and neglect my production work as such. So I thought I'd bring you with me today just on another day in the life video telling you some of the things that I do and that I get up to when I'm helping out these departments. So although I'm not technically a marketing and publicity assistant, these are the sort of roles that a marketing assistant or a publicity assistant would be doing at Bloomsbury. These are the things that I'm doing to assist the teams within Bloomsbury. So I hope you find it useful, especially if you're looking to get into marketing and publicity. Um, I really do enjoy the work. It allows me to really get involved with each book and working across divisions means that I get that experience within the whole industry. So yeah, I hope you find it useful. Let me know in the comments if you do find it useful and you'd like another one of these kind of videos. But for now, I need to start work. So this morning so far um, I've been working mainly on recipes so some of the work I do for the cookery division is basically sending recipes to various magazines and newspapers for them to feature. It really depends on if the book's come out yet or not. Sometimes it's for an upcoming book, sometimes it's for a book that's already been out for a year or so. So for certain publications we have what we call an e-sampler and we give that to them and it's basically got 10 recipes on there and they can choose up to three gratis ones that they can use in their publications and then it's basically basically my job to send over the actual recipe, the recipe photo, along with like an author image and a cover image. It's a really nice way actually to connect with other people like outside of Bloomsbury. So obviously like today I've been contacting people from like the Daily Mail for example. Yeah, so sometimes it's easier than others. If I've already got the text file saved, sent it to someone else before, then it's fine, it's obviously really easy. But what I've had to do this morning is actually extract the recipe from the original PDF of the book. Um, because for some reason or another we don't have the text file saved separately for that recipe. Um, so yeah, I've basically just been copy and pasting from the uh, PDF to a separate document ready to send on to them. I tend to use WeTransfer just to send the files um, just because that's a lot easier personally and you can just copy and paste a link onto an email. In this video I'm just copy and pasting the WeTransfer link that's got all the files on it and sending it to the relevant person informing them that this is where they can find the files, informing them of the copyright and the credit info that they need to include. What I'm about to do is upload an audio file to NetGalley. Um, this is a fairly urgent task that needs to be done today. Um, having a little bit of trouble because it's such a large file, because it's an audio file, we have to drop it onto their FTP instead of just uploading it manually. So that's what I'm about to do in a second. I've also been doing this marketing task on some of our business books so we've basically been asking for their media kits or rate cards they're called and it's basically for them to outline what their publication is and how much it will cost us to advertise in their magazine. So yes that's one of the things I've been doing just like a research task again quite fun to just find out more about the industry about different magazines. So yeah, so it's um, 10 to 12 at the moment, so I'll probably be going for an hour or so before I break or move on to something different. I haven't, I've got a few sort of urgent things to be doing today, so I'm going to crack on with them as soon as possible. So yeah. One of the books that I've been sending recipes over on is the much loved and iconic Dishoom. This is such a fat book. I didn't realise how big it was, like I was working on it and then when I got this sent through, I didn't realise like, how big it actually is. Like it's, it's huge. I don't know if you can... 
but it's huge. Um, but yeah, this has been super popular. So if you haven't already got it, get it on the Balloons website. I'll put a link to the description. I'll put a link to the book in the description below. One thing that I do really like with marketing and publicity as opposed to production is you get to work on the actual content of the books more so I feel like I work on like 20 titles a day for production whereas for marketing and publicity I might just work on one or two titles and so in that sense you can kind of really get a feel for the book and you work really closely with the books and um, so yeah that's kind of one thing that I really do enjoy about working in marketing and publicity. I also just like the range of people that I get to talk to so as I mentioned I get to talk to people from newspapers and different magazines and different influencers and book reviewers as well as of course like the people in the Martin publicity teams. As I mentioned before I work across the divisions at Bloomsbury so this is like our special interest titles, our children's titles, educational titles and adult fiction non-fiction titles. Also means that I get some proofs come through sometimes as well which is really exciting because um, that can kind of just help me depending on the task I'm doing kind of help me yeah like it, it's easier to have like a physical copy in front of me and then one of the key tasks that I do is I create a lot of press releases so this is quite self-explanatory it goes it's released to the press and it's basically saying what our upcoming title or titles are and um, this usually includes just like the basic information like a title ISBN pub date price maybe a description of the author and the book um, cover image if it's available and yes yeah, so these are pretty easy to make um, they're similar to an AI or a TI, so this is an advanced information or title information sheet. I think they tend to have more information on them than press releases do. Um, but yeah, I've worked on lots, I've worked on dozens of those before, so that's another thing that I do as well. I do generally just other admin tasks as well, and um, so if people are like, oh, I need this saved to this drive or whatever, um, that's just some of the things I do, or generally just contacting people. Um, so one of the things I had to do yesterday was like creating labels, so we're sending proofs of these books out to different influencers and reviewers, and so it was basically just creating all the labels for that. And then another one of the really fun things that I did as I worked on the Santa Jaws book, I was creating a brief for the designer for an activity pack for Santa Jaws, so that was really fun, like deciding what goes on the word search and what we're going to do as a puzzle and spot the difference, etc. So that was, that was quite fun to work on, and because it was a kid's book as well, it's obviously more light-hearted to work on, it's not any heavy material or anything. I also recommend using the Outlook Task Manager as well because I only started in this a couple of months ago. I do still use pen and paper but using the Outlook Task Manager I find it really helps when you've got certain deadlines for things and it will tell you what's due that week. So yeah, today has in general been a pretty marketing and heavy, marked Has been a pretty marketing publicity heavy day um, which I quite like, I enjoy it, something different. Um, one thing I do find about marketing and publicity work is it's quite time reactive, so some things need to be done that afternoon or for the next day, and so it's kind of prioritising your workload. If you're already in the middle of something, it's deciding what's more important to do at that particular time. So I just attended our Christmas town hall where um, we had a little quiz and the CEO was addressing us and wishing us a Merry Christmas and a couple of other things like um, video snippets from some of our authors. Um, you can tell it's got dark already, even though it's only 3 o'clock. Um, I've just got a couple of other things come through. Um, one email that just come through was about festival pitches, um, so I'm going to be dealing with that. Um, so yeah.